Here are eight things that stylish guys use every single day, but never talk about. I'm talking about the non-clothing items in your wardrobe that can get a ton of use, if you know about them. And if you don't have them, you should probably get them. By the way, I'm gonna have all these things linked for you in the description box below. So just go ahead and scroll down and you can click through and read more about them. Item number one, a handheld clothing steamer. I honestly can't remember the last time I ironed an item of clothing. I really dislike the ironing process. It's always a mess, at least in my experience. So a few years ago, I switched to just steaming everything so much better. I've tried other steamers in the past, like I mentioned, and some of them either leak or they don't have a steamer on and off button. So it's just constantly steaming. It's just a pain. This one's the best that I've found. If I'm traveling to a place that doesn't have a steamer or if I'm not sure there will be one there, I will definitely pack this one. It's worth it. Speaking of non-clothing items that you use every day, our friends at Huckberry have an awesome selection of home goods and everyday carry items that are worth checking out. Like this Theragun mini massager, which I use all the time, and this electric kettle for tea and pour over coffee, or a great candle, a cozy warm blankie, or a fun way to stash some valuables. Yes, although they may be known for their clothing, and they do carry one of my favorite everyday brands, Flint and Tinder. They also have so many great things for your home and your everyday life. I'm talking bar and kitchen tools, art and accessories for your living spaces, stuff for your bath bedroom and backyard, even gym and wellness gear. Not to mention an extensive collection of goods for your everyday carry kit. So if you have or want to have a well curated home and life that feels like you and that has stuff that you want to use every single day, Huckberry probably has it. I'm linking to the shop and some of the products I mentioned in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out after you finish this video. Thanks to Huckberry for sponsoring and thanks to you for supporting the brands that make videos like this possible. Number two, this Delinter sweater shaver combo thing. I don't really know what to call it, but that's what I've been calling it. So you may have used the disposable lint roller things where you can rip off uh, a sticky sheet. Those work really well. I do keep a few of those around the house. And I've also used sweater shavers before and sweater stones, which help to take off the peeling on your sweaters. I like this thing because it's a two-in-one gadget, small form factor, and it's super easy to take when I'm traveling. When you're using the sweater shaver, you wanna do short strokes over the pilled areas. This is gonna help clean it up and it's gonna leave your sweater looking like new. Same with the delinter. I noticed that short strokes work best. And if you haven't used this type of delinter before, it's pretty cool because you can brush it one way to get all the lint off and then you rub your finger the opposite way and it will take the lint off the brush. So yeah, I think this tool works great. I definitely recommend it. Number three, cedar shoe trees. I'm sure you've heard how important these are. They help to extend the life of your expensive leather shoes by one, maintaining the shape, and two, drawing out any moisture that may have accumulated during your long work day. You really only need one set. You put them in your freshly worn pair of shoes and then you wear a different pair of shoes the next day. And when you come home, you take them out of the shoes from the night before, and you put them in these new ones that you just wore. I also have these metal shoe trees. These are really great if you're traveling because they're so lightweight and they don't take up much room, but they don't do obviously a good job of um, drawing out any moisture in your shoes. They're mostly to help maintain the shape. So at home, you don't wanna use these necessarily in your shoes on an everyday basis. You wanna use uh, cedar shoe trees. Number four, drawer dividers. These things have been super helpful in keeping my drawers organized. I can store a few different types of things in one drawer and I don't have to worry about everything getting all messed up and jumbled in there. Like for example, in the top drawer of my dresser, I have socks, boxer briefs, and belts all in one drawer and they're perfectly separated because of these drawer dividers. So if you want better organization within your drawers, grab a few of these, you won't be sorry. Number five, a shoehorn. When you're slipping your feet into your shoes, whether they are canvas, Converse, Chuck Taylors, or really expensive leather shoes, you don't want to just jam your foot in there. Over time, it's gonna ruin the integrity of the shoe's shape and it's gonna really damage the back of the heel. Using a shoehorn is gonna help you avoid all of that. I have a number of them. Most of them have come from just buying a pair of shoes. Sometimes the brands just include them in there, but you can also purchase some nicer and higher end ones as well. If you haven't used one of these, all you have to do is place it up against the back of the heel. It'll act like a ramp for your heel when you're slipping your foot into your shoe. It just makes it much easier. That's it. These compact ones are really nice, but they do sell extended ones. This is great if you can just store it at home and you don't have to bend over when putting on your shoes. It's just much easier. Number six, slim velvet hangers. So for a long time, I've always preferred the white plastic hangers or the wooden hangers, and those work great. But over the past two years or so, I sort of transitioned to these slim velvet hangers. I found them to be much better at gripping the actual clothing. Sometimes with plastic or wooden hangers, the clothes can like slip off. Also, these are much slimmer, so it takes up 
up less room in the closet and I can actually fit more in my closet because of that. Now, a caveat here, I only use these for woven shirts and pants. I don't hang knits like polo shirts or t-shirts on these types of hangers because any hanger, but especially these, are gonna leave little indentations in the fabric of the shirts and you don't want that. And for any suits or heavier layers or heavier winter coats, I always use the more substantial wooden hangers with a wider shoulder. That's just gonna help maintain the integrity and the shape of the garment itself. And that's really important. But for everything else, these guys. Number seven, shoe bags. Shoe bags are awesome for when you're traveling or storing shoes away. They help to keep off any dust that might accumulate and they help prevent any scratches if they're like stuffed in your suitcase. You rarely have to buy shoe bags because when you buy a nice pair of leather shoes, for example, typically they come with their own shoe bags in the box. But if you don't have any or you happen to need more, Amazon has plenty of shoe bags to choose from. Quick packing tip, I would use two separate shoe bags, one for each shoe. And then depending on how stuffed your suitcase or your luggage is, you can put the shoes in different spots. And again, you don't have to worry about uh, anything in your luggage scratching up the leather of your shoes. Number eight, a drying rack. Having a collapsible drying rack is super useful to have. Personally, I use them for any clothes that I wanna hang dry and not throw in the dryer because I'm worried they're gonna shrink. Of course, you could put everything that you're drying onto individual hangers, but then you gotta figure out, okay, where can I hang these so they dry and like get good airflow. The collapsible drying rack prevents all of that. So typically I use this for any woven shirts I don't want to shrink or uh, socks. I don't like drying my socks because I notice that they tend to shrink. So I typically hang dry them. It also works as a clothing rack in a pinch if you just need some extra space. Every single one of these things have come in handy. If there's something that you use in your wardrobe every single day, non-clothing items that I didn't mention here, make sure to let me know in the comments. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.